Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simone if you're new here. Uh, today's video uh, is going to be something a little bit different. I've just come back from a job and I thought I would just uh, film a quick video showing you what I've taken to this job. I only had one model today um, and I've worked with her before so I sort of know what I need and what she likes. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys how I can condense my makeup kit into a smaller bag. So I'm just going to change the camera angle and show you guys the bag that I have and I'll open it up and show you what I've got in it. So I did know in advance what sort of hair my model wanted. Um, so I just bought the bare minimal. So I've got my curling wand. Um, I have a teasing brush, texture powder, just some tissues just in case. I have a dry shampoo, hairspray. I have a texture powder. I've got some hair clips to hold the hair. I also have um, my little stack of bobby pins just in case. I have a 70% alcohol for sanitation. I have another little um, comb in here, double-ended comb. I also took my 99% alcohol for cleaning as well and my brushes. So I only took a small amount of brushes. I have just come back, so I haven't cleaned them yet. Um, there's what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 brushes in here and a spatula. And that's all I needed to do one model. Um, just pop those away. I'm gonna leave those out because I'm gonna wash those in a minute. Now, for the makeup side, I literally just have this little section here full of makeup. I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see a bit better. So, I've bought my lip palette. I have a little sponge that I use to pop on my finger. I have the Becca um, Brightening Primer. I have my eye base, I've got two little lip glosses, I did carry my liquid highlighting drops but I didn't use those today. I've got one mascara, I have one lip liner and two eyebrow pencils. I also carry a sharpener, black um, gel liner, I also have in here my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream um, little palette. This is a mixture of my Embryo Elise moisturizer and my MAC strobe cream. So this is really convenient that they mix together. So instead of having to put two products on, I only have to put it on once um, and it works a lot better for productivity. I have an empty sample pot just in case I needed to give my model um, a little bit of lipstick. I have my cellar water, hand sanitizer, I also have in here um, my little, uh, what do you call it, scissors and tweezers for doing eyelashes. I did have a pair of eyelashes in here, but because I've worked with this model before, I know what lashes she likes to wear, so I only put the one, um, one set in and I've already used those on her. So I've got my MAC Fairly Precious Shimmer Topper and I have my um, Dazzled Blush by Tarte. They're the only two I took. I also have in here my Dior Backstage um, Quad and I have my Contour Cream Palette by MAC. I didn't use the cream today, I just used the powder. And then in this little container here I just have my eyelash glue have all of my mascara ones so I packed a couple of extras. I have some lip brushes, some cotton pads and some q-tips. Um, now I only put in a small amount of these. I will be throwing all of these out except for my eyelash glue um, just because of COVID at the moment and they were opened in front of like in the space. So I'll be throwing all of those out. I also carry these little palettes with all of my um, concealers in them and I took 
my foundation palette. So I already knew what shade uh, my model was, so I just grabbed this. I probably could have just grabbed two shades out of it, but I wasn't quite sure whether she had a fake tan on today or not, so I just grabbed this, and that was nice and easy. And that's literally all of the makeup that I have to do my model's face. So if I had two or three models, I could still get away with just having this amount of makeup. The only thing I probably would add if I had more models would be an extra colored blush. And if I didn't know what color my model's skin tones were, I would probably bring my RCMA um, foundation palette because it has quite a large variety of shades in it and my thinner to go with that. Otherwise, I would just keep it at this um, and obviously I would bring an extra brush set for the amount of models that I had for that day. But this is literally the amount of makeup that you can take to a shoot and have no issues performing any service and doing everything that they need. You do not need to bring the amount of makeup that even I take to every job. I just want you guys to have an understanding of how much you really need, particularly if you are starting out, this is it. That's all you need. No need to go 100% crazy. It's definitely not necessary, even though we all do it. But yeah, so I thought you guys might find that a little bit interesting. I'll just pop all of these back and I'll be back in a sec. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you um, enjoyed seeing how I condense my makeup kit. Um, I know that I always carry a lot of products usually, but I'm trying to condense it a lot more. So I'm not carrying quite as much, especially in COVID times. So I don't have to sanitize everything. And my risk of infection is a lot lower because I'm not having everything out on my station and like literally just having an abundance of makeup. Um, it does make it a little bit easier when you sort of already know who your model is and like what kind of products you already need. But if you're just starting out, then this is the basis for a solid kit. The only thing that I would add to this if I was just starting out would be a hair straightener. You could probably swap out the hair straightener for the curling iron because I think it's more beneficial to have a straightener because you can do curls in it than having a curling iron because if you need to straighten someone's hair, you don't want to carry both if you're just starting out um, and if you're trying to condense your kit just easy to have a hair straightener in there um, and I would probably carry a different colored blush as well and that'd be about it um, but I would literally just have a setting powder in there and an extra colored blush and you could quite happily get away with doing most people's makeup if you are gonna be doing a bit more of a versatile skin range then I would invest in a RCMA color palette um, and then I think you have all bases covered so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give my video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you would like to see more videos like this. Um, I do have uh, a couple of different other different ways that I pack my kit for certain jobs. Um, I do have commercial jobs where I only need basically like foundation, concealer and a bit of bronzer. So I pack my kit down again and I do bring different products. So if you'd like to see how I pack my kit into just a tiny set bag and it's this size then leave me a comment and i'll show you guys how i do that as well but until then i'll uh, see you guys in the next video thanks for watching